Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at something a little bit crazy before we jump straight into Dreamworld because this is kind of relevant. So, there was a studio that reached out to Dreamworld called Spec Pixel Entertainment. Uh, I'll show some screenshots on the on the screen now. They were actively looking to go and work with Dreamworld. Now, I assume that they were looking to work as a publisher for them because of the things that are about to follow. I kind of kept my eye on these guys, and so did some of my moderators. Well, today, one of them sent me this. So SpecPixel is launching a game called New Citizen. Guess who's developing it? Yep, that's right, Tana Razankovic. I don't know why, it just seems like a lot of these shitty devs just all kind of circle jerk off each other, and... It's like this closed circle of just scammers trying to help scammers. I, I really don't get it. It's beyond belief. Well, here's a screenshot of them replying to Big Fry TV, um, saying, we are not promoting a scam. When, here's the thing, Tanner's history is quite literally just one big scam. Now, this also begs the question, did he get let go from Earth 2? Or is he still working there? But anyway, that is a, a, that's an Earth 2 topic for, an, you know, another video. Let's jump straight into the updates. Weekly Alpha Development Release Number 30. World Update. A whole new dream world with caves, mountains and distinct biomes. Now, I have to say they have absolutely smashed this out of the park. I know that they spent a, a lot longer than a week on this update uh, because I was told about this. They've got actual procedural world generation, which is now a 700 by 700 kilometer squared procedural world. The, the landscape generation is phenomenal. It's breathed a breath of fresh air into the game. I, I spent some time roaming around and I actually found my house from the previous map. So these guys kindly migrated as many builds that they knew people had made into flat areas on the new on the new map and to top it off the big cylinder in the center that was the elysium city or whatever is now a floating island and it actually looks really cool it makes sense you can go under there and build under the floating island so i have to say mad props to them on that it's i'm actually excited to play this on stream tonight and check it all out Fully. New minimap, 3D, dynamic, and informative. Yeah, the, the minimap now is kind of like shaded 3D, and it's actually so much more useful because you can, at a glance, see what is where quite easily. It's it's just better. There's, there's no negatives to that that I can see. Tutorial overhaul, improved new player experience. Now... I couldn't test this, and I think it's because I've done the tutorial in a previous video, that there must be some sort of flag on my account that says that I've completed it, so it won't let me do it again. So I couldn't test this out. Uh, the guy just wouldn't speak to me. So I can't really speak for that, but um, it was hard for it to get worse in the first place. So I'm assuming it's going to be actually decent. T Night battles tuned to your current progress. So I'm not sure what progress this is tuned to whether it's like based on unlocks or something because there's no level system or maybe there is and it's just invisible and we don't see it if that's the case that's cool but i don't see what it's tied to but i did notice that the th that creatures don't hit me as hard as they used to which is useful because they were insanely tough like unfair skeletons would hit me for like 45 of my health with one arrow now while these updates have had a hell of a lot less stuff they have actually done things that they haven't put in the patch notes. And I'm going to give you a few of the important ones. One, you used to have to dig infinitely for flint, which I complained about in my last video. Flint is now a resource pickup on the surface of the grass. So, so nice to have. Being able to just go around and hunt flint on the ground is absolutely amazing, and I'm glad they've done it. Secondly, if you remember from the last video, to make coal, we had to burn logs, which is funny because that would have actually been charcoal. You now gather coal for 
from mining, which is great. That's what you would expect. And it is actually coal this time, not charcoal. There's also something else I noticed. Last video, some, a lot of people complained in the comments about the popping of the buildings, of the modular pieces. I have seen no popping at all this week. The game is actually starting to look beautiful. And along with that, there were those water issues that we were seeing last week are completely fixed. The water looks gorgeous. And in fact, whenever there's water inside a, like a cave, it looks fantastic. This game is slowly becoming something incredible. It may not be what they promised yet, but it's definitely heading in the right direction. And this week's update, I am now listing as their, their best update. Not just because of these updates, but because of something they're doing below, which um, is kind of cool, I guess. Christmas thank you gift. On Christmas Eve, we're giving all players a free extra copy of Dreamworld for a friend. On Christmas Eve, we're giving all players a free extra copy of Dreamworld for a friend. For new purchases between now and then, it's essentially a two-for-one deal on top of the holiday sales. So that's actually pretty awesome. Because this stacks with their, uh, their sale that's currently on $19, this basically brings it down to $8.50 per copy if you, you know, wish to get your friend one. I'd say that's actually a very fair price for what the game currently is. I would say you can get $8 worth of fun. My, my measurement of fun to uh, cost ratio is, say you earn £10 an hour and the game costs you £10, if you can get an hour's worth of fun out of it, you've definitely got your money's worth. That's how I see it anyway. So for $8.50, you can definitely, definitely get an hour's worth of fun out of this. I, I've actually been kind of enjoying it on stream. I can't lie. But that is this week's update, short and sweet, which I'm not angry about because they've actually done a lot in the short amount of patch notes. The things that they have done are quite big. I've noticed they're adding less and less of what I like to call their fluff. Updates that are kind of non-updates just to pad out the list of updates. I'm glad they're not adding those because they were very meaningless and didn't really offer anything. But anyway, that is all for today. I want to say a massive thank you to the patrons. I'll be taking a week off over, the, over Christmas and you guys are allowing me to do that. So thank you so much. You know the drill. I'll be over live on Twitch after this. I'm going to be, I'm actually going to be testing this week's Dream World update. You guys have been loving it the last two weeks. So we'll continue that today. And as always, have an awesome day and a fantastic week.